Um, okay, so uh, now we have to get the probability, right? So go to the Z table. You will see um, here the value between um, 800 and 1002. So look at the graph. The first thing you have to do is just draw the graph even if you don't know how to calculate the z at this you know where is mean and where is the x value for any distance that they ask you to calculate right after that you can see that okay now which area you have to cover for this question they ask what is the probability of selecting a shift foreman in a glass industry whose income is between 840 and 1200 so it mean that mean is in the middle we have a negative side and we have a positive side. So this, the distance is between, mean is between and between and uh, right and left, right? So when you solve it, put in the formula, you will reach to two value is minus 1.6 and 2. You need the distance between these two. So you go under the Z distribution table, you find the value for minus 1.6 you find the value for 2 so it's up to you again is minus from 1 or decrease from 0 0.5 from each each side and add together it doesn't matter both is okay the next one is the the distance between 1150 and 1250 so look at it is exactly in the right side of the mean and they need the distance between these two values Again, you are doing the same thing. You get the Z value based on the formula because they already give you the X. Based on that, you will go to the table. You will get the value for these two. Look at it. Both is in the positive side. Based on the formula, they said get the greater than and minus from each one. So you are doing the same thing here and you will get the distance between these two points, right? Okay, sometimes they do vice versa. They give you the probability and they ask you, okay, based on this probability, now we need X. Imagine in the, in the normal life that you go and buy something, they give you one year guarantee, uh, six months, two years, and they said, okay, until this time, if anything happened for this product that you buy, you can come and change it, right? And normally in that time, nothing happened for that product. Normally it's like that. How they calculate that one? They calculate based on this probability. So next time, if you are working in the company and your boss asks you, okay, uh, give me the probability that I just replace, for example, 4%. The possibility that I replace this tire is 4%. Or the possibility that I replace or, for example, give the new laptop is just three percent so they they already give you a probability now you have to find that how many years you want to guarantee the thing so what you do look at this example the company give you the probability and now they ask you to find how much is the mileage latent tire and rubber company wish to set a minimum mileage guarantee uh, for this tire so the mean mileage is 67,900 standard deviation is 2050 and uh, of course the data is normally distributed and they want to set the minimum guarantee mileage so that not more than four percent of the tire will be replaced so you see they already get the probability that not more than four percent that is the mean it's mean that 0 0.04 right this 0 0.04 is the probability that you will find under the z distribution remember last time they give you x and based on x you will find the z and probability now you're going backward it's mean that they give you probability you have to find the z and you have to find the x so they ask you what minimum guarantee mileage should latent announce it's mean that find the x now so what you need to do exactly you are doing backward first you will go to the z distribution table they already give you the probabilities mean that the probability is already there under that table you will search for that value that they give you they give you four person right so four person is mean that 0 0.04 search for that value 
you see when you look at this here you will see that the most closest value to that value is 0 0.4599 so if you look at to the you see here the z value is 1.7 and in the column and in the row is 0 0.5 so 1.75 and you already know that is in the negative side. So you find the Z. Put in the formula. Calculate the X value. You will reach to the X. You 